Hello everybody, how are you today? I hope all of you will be well. Okay, first of all, let me thank you uh, for watching my video, for uh, subscribe, for like, or sharing my video. Okay, uh, let me start by uh, saying a few words about my uh, uh, lesson of uh, today. Uh, our lesson of today is auxiliary verb. Uh, we will, we are going to discuss in this video the definition of an auxiliary verb and how to use auxiliary verb in a sentence. So stay with us. So what is an auxiliary verb? So this is a question to know what is an auxiliary verb an auxiliary verb is a verb that is used as a helping verbs along with the main verbs in a sentence to make it more meaningful it is used to alter the tense mood or voice of the sentence let's dip in this definition an auxiliary verb is a verb such as a verb to be to do for example and to have Use with the main verb to show tense. Okay, to show a tense. We use this verb to show a tense in a sentence, etc. And to form also a question. Uh, to make a question, for example, uh, how are you, for example, uh, or are you okay, for example, are you okay? We use verb to be are you in uh, present to. Uh, make or to form a question and negative also uh, to form a negative sentence now let's uh, study some uh, example of auxiliary verb here is a list of auxiliary verb that you can use uh, along with your other main verb to perform different functions of auxiliary so this is a uh, list of auxiliary verbs uh, for example am, is, are, was, were, have, has, had, will, would, may, might, can, could, shall, should, must, have to, need, do, did all this is an auxiliary verb Auxiliary verb used to alter the tense of a sentence. There are particular few auxiliary verb that can be used to change the tense of action being performed by subject, a noun or pronoun in a context. Uh, for example, to be form of verbs or form of have and form of will are used to uh, now different chances okay another role you should to remember when you using uh, this auxiliary verb I mean verb to be uh, to have uh, and well uh, when using the form of to be make sure you use gerund verb plus ing a form of the main verb as they are used to indicate continuous action for example I am watching the match I am watching the match they are going to Dubai they are going to Dubai also uh, Ahmed was drinking water Ahmed was drinking water okay also we using form of have situate that you use particip past participle forms of the main verb along with the different form of have they are one other thing that you should keep in mind when auxiliary verb have and being are used together to represent the perfect continuous tense Okay, 
uh, you use joint verb plus ing uh, form of the main verb in that particular sentence for example let's see an example and we use have for example they have come to India after five years they have come to India after five years if you can see or look at this sentence we have an auxiliary verb have here and the main verb of uh, the sentence is come and conjugate it is past participle okay uh, if you uh, put have as an auxiliary verb so the next verb or the main verb sentence uh, conjugate in past participle as see in this sentence also if you uh, face uh, or if we have two auxiliary verb for example have and be a uh, sentence so here in this uh, case we conjugate uh, uh, the main verb in present participle okay uh, or we add ing uh, into the main uh, uh, verb of a sentence as we say here in this example uh, look at this example i have been waiting for my interviews result since last week i have been waiting for my interview result since last week okay we have uh, we have here uh, two auxiliary verb verb to have and verb to be conjugated in past simple past and the main verb this sentence is verb to write and we are conjugate in past participle here uh, or present participle as uh, present perfect continuous okay we add ing at the end of uh, the main verb of the sentence and last point you, you should to remember is when you uh, using an auxiliary verb well to the noun simple future chance okay for example as we have here she will be attending a parent teacher meeting next week she will be attending parent teacher meeting next week also here we have uh, two auxiliary verb will and to be okay and the main verb of this sentence is attend so this is a future continuous uh, we should have uh, two auxiliary verb and the main verb of a sentence to show with test or to show with action we don't forget to uh, to look at uh, or to uh, study uh, uh, auxiliary verb uh, that used to express the mood or to put a question or to ask a question for example verb uh, to do for example let's have the verb to do uh, for example uh, do your children enjoy watching education films for example or in the past did she complete the work that was assigned to her okay we put auxiliary verb uh, and use uh, it to ask a question and put auxiliary verb at first or at the beginning of a sentence uh, also uh, we have uh, a model auxiliary verb uh, can be used also as helping verbs uh, along with other main verbs to emphasize on possibility ability necessity or probability of some action taking place okay let's have an example to understand more so look at these examples we have here can is a mother verb can 
Can you do it? We can ask a question and put can as an auxiliary verb and put and ask a question. For example, another example could I could find some time to finish it by tomorrow? Okay, we have could here is an auxiliary verb. Okay, also we have my is an auxiliary verb, is other auxiliary verb. Uh, let's have an example as you see here she might have liked your style okay she may have liked your style we have my is an auxiliary verb might search might be able to help you with it okay so it might be able to help you with it well any well solved puzzle any well solved the puzzle would would you like to have some pizza would you like to have some pizza is that a question should a children should keep themselves active a children should keep themselves self active we have also must as you see here you must try the dragon chicken from china valley you must try the dragon chicken from china valley how to also is an auxiliary verb you have to abide by the rules set by a organization you are a part of okay and last one is shall. I shall be obliged to you for all your help. Okay. Uh, this is our lesson of today. Please don't forget to subscribe and share and like my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. See you next video. Okay. Goodbye.